Oh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, welcome to another another episode of Hey Josh, what you drinking? With me, Josh. Uh, what am I drinking today? Um, something. I'm drinking uh, Chicken Man Pale Ale. Chicken Man. Now this is I've never I've never heard of Furnace Room Brewery from. Georgetown, Ontario. Uh, don't know what to expect from this. Pale Ale. Uh, we gotta get no information from the can so far. Uh, what does it say here? Pedaling his bike around town with his trusty chicken aboard. The Chicken Man, as he was known to be, has become, as he was known, has become iconic to the residents of Georgetown. So there, there must be a little history behind that. Georgetown, Ontario. I've never been there either. Although his identity is uncertain and his whereabouts unknown, his legend lives on. Make a trip down to Georgetown and ask the locals to tell you how they remember him or simply enjoy our pale ale in his honor. Okay. Uh, I like a good pale ale. What do we got here? Ingridiments are water, barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. Okay, so it's... We've got a, a, a another wheat beer. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume this is gonna be uh, a little uh, a little cloudy. Uh, uh, it's not particularly high in alcohol. It's uh, it's got the wheat in it. So our pale ale is a flavorful and dry, made with a melody of three different hops for a punch of citrus. Full of stone fruit flavors, not too bitter. All right, so I'm expecting a uh, a basic but flavorful pale ale, which is what I really like. I just I want a old school pale ale, a nice uh, nice old English style bitter, and from the can, it's rather citrusy. A little bit of floral aroma. Uh, somewhat fruity. And yeah, let's pour it out and see what we got. Got my trusty old big rock pint glass. Okay, well, so far so good. It's not cloudy. It's not hazy. It is crystal clear. Oh, this is this is exciting for me. After all of these big, juicy, hazy IPAs and and fruity, double hopped, dry, brute, all the rest, I am happy to find a classic. Pale ale. Look at that. Uh, okay, it's it's somewhat hazy. It's not crystal clear, like I just said. Uh, it was. I didn't really give it a chance to settle out and look, but it is it is relatively clear. What would you say? A slightly opaque. It's got a nice. Uh, definitely has a nice golden pale ale color to it, which is right up my alley. Okay. Now they poured it out the. The citrus is definitely a lot stronger. Uh, uh, it's it definitely has some of that fruity aroma to it. It's got a, well, you know, it's got a good head to it. That's it's it's not particularly big, but it, it's it's lingering, which is a good sign. Um, I am a little how uh, a little. Concerned about how how effervescent it is, but the bubbles. And I know some of you will say, "Well, it's because your glass isn't crystal clear, completely clean," and that's not untrue. But I just washed this glass, and I didn't scrub it though. I, I I just I just washed it with hot water and a little soap and rinsed it real real thoroughly. So 
all you naysayers are telling me how unclean my glass is. I know. Stop bugging me. Okay, I'm going to take a picture. I'm grab my phone down here and take a picture of Chicken Man for the Instas and the Untapped. And I, I say it every time. I'm not even, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to point to the corner and say, hey, my links are there. All right, good enough. Like, subscribe, comment, thank you. All right, enough chit chatting. Let's drink beer. Oh, it smells great. It smells like beer. Okay, that's good. I like it. What I'm finding though is it has. And I'm going to assume it's because it's got the wheat malt in it. It tastes some... Uh, it tastes some... Everyone everyone in my family is calling me up for dinner. It's time to go. It's Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just going to dismiss that. Uh -huh. uh, it's going to keep buzzing. Anyway... Um, as I was saying, it, it, I'm going to assume because it's, it's the wheat malt in it, but it's got a somewhat adjuncty flavor to it, uh, meaning I can I can kind of taste the, uh, the 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 additives. Uh, a little bit reminds me of, of how uh, how one of those micro macro uh, lagers are brewed. They all have that. They all have that mass-produced taste. This has a little bit of that, but not much. <clears throat> I really enjoy that is a good, it's decent. Just a second. Hi. I'm just wrapping up an episode of Hey Josh, What's Your Drink? I'll be right there. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. bye. Well, I all right. Uh, anyway, pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. I like it. Uh, Chicken Man, Pale Ale. All right, give it a try. It's worth a try. It's definitely worth a try. If I'm going to, maybe I'll start a rating system of try or don't try. This is try. It's pretty good. I like it. All right, so um, I'm going to have my tacos now. Taco Tuesday. Cheers.